Well, hey everybody, it's Joy Packer. It's Monday, it's June the 1st. It's the beginning of a whole new month. It's almost time for summer and I'm getting really excited. I'm, I'm ready to relax with my kids and <clears throat> hit some blue beaches and just not have a schedule. It's gonna be kind of fun. You know, today I, I started uh, my exercise program again. I started on Friday, but I made a commitment this week for the next two weeks to, to get my workout in. And I was just thinking about, you know, things in our life about sometimes we, we have something that we just don't want to do. I don't know about you, but I remember when I was in high school or even junior high or whatever, and I had a test to study for. And I remember that, you know, I was watching a, a show and I would want to watch another show and I'd go get a drink of water. And it was just the last thing that I wanted to do was to study. And I think that it's kind of like that even today for me, like if there's something that I just really don't want to do, and even though I know it has to get done, I don't want to do it. And I stopped and I thought about what is it that, what is it that is stopping me from doing that? And I think that there's a bunch of different factors and you know, we can have forever videos talking about it. And one of them could be fear and fear about what? I don't really know. It just depends on your situation. But like maybe in my situation, something that I've been trying to do, not, not, not by my exercise, but something else in my life that I've been trying to do. And it's something that stops me because I think about all the reasons why it's going to be hard to do or all the reasons why it's going to, you know, possibly not do well. And today I thought about how I had, you know, I made my list. I always try and do, write down at least three things to do on, on a daily basis that I can accomplish, whether it's in my business or whether it's, you know, something else like that. And it really helps me. And I, and I try and put the problem that is hardest first, you know, tackle the thing that is the one that I dread the most. And today I did that. You know, there were some things that I had to get done. I've been trying to do them for weeks and I finally sat down. I said, no matter, I set my timer and I just said, today I'm just going to do it. And, and it worked. And so I wanted to share that with you. You know, there might be some things in your life that you have been procrastinating. Maybe it's something, some kind of task with your home. Maybe it's clutter that you want to clean up. Maybe it's something with your business. I don't know. But to think about just tackle it. Just get it over with. Just get it done. And you feel so much better. And then guess what? The next day you can continue to do that over and over again. Maybe that list, the, the task that you had done, you can move to the next item and the next one. Before you know it, you look back and you say, wow, I got all these things done. And the one thing that inspired me to do this is I started writing in my journal again. And I looked back, my journal was 2010, 2011, and it was when I was beginning my running and training for marathon, my marathon that was coming up. And I was reading my thoughts and how hard it was to do. And I accomplished that, I ran a marathon. And I remember when I ran it, I thought to myself, I can do anything. I can conquer anything that I want to do. You know, it's mind over matter. And so I'm sharing that with you today and I hope that helps you. I hope you go out and tackle something today that you've been trying to get done for the longest period of time. All right, it's finally sunny in Houston. The rain is, is hopefully over for a while, cross our fingers. We made it through the floods and um, pray for those who are still having some, some uh, problems with that. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon.